here's another technique that many people use for drinking yerba mate, and that's the French press. The French press has a few tricks uh, to make it most effective, and I'll show you what those tricks are right now. Add your yerba mate just as you would, and as much as you like, there's no set amount, there's no magic amount to using yerba mate. I would get calls all, all the time, people, how much? Well, you've got to figure that out for yourself. How much do you like? The more you use, the stronger it will be. Add the yerba mate, add your hot water. Almost to the top, but not quite to the top because you want to save room for the filter. Do not stir it up. Just let it sit. Put the filter in straight. Don't tilt it from side to side. Close the cap. And let it sit a little bit. And then push it down slowly. Like I said, don't shake it, don't stir it, just let it be. And I'll tell you why. If you stir this up, the larger particles will come to the top and get in that filter and stop it up. Then you go to push it down, and what happens is it won't go down. And this is what it looks like. See that? It's a nice brew. Now, after you've enjoyed your cup, you pull the filter out, clean it a little bit, rinse it off, add more hot water, do the same thing again. You can get two presses out of this that are probably exactly alike, and then after that, it'll get a little weaker and weaker. But you can compensate for that by letting it sit longer in the water before you press. Use yerba mate until the flavor is gone. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the vi video, yerba mate influ infuses infuses slowly so respect that and keep it in mind don't waste the product use it over and over again in a coffee maker same principles apply you put the yerba mate in the filter wet it and let it sit for a good long time 10 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes let it sit until it's solid in that filter then make your coffee then brew it just as you would coffee if you just add the leaves to the coffee filter stick it in there and start running water through it you know what's going to happen. The leaves are going to float, and the water will just go right through, and it just won't work. And if the water comes through too fast, the leaves will just actually flow over the top of the filter, and you've got yourself a mess. So pre-wet the leaves in the coffee filter, let it soak, and then brew it. And once again, you can brew it more than once. You can make two pots, three pots possibly, out of one coffee filter. Well, that's it. I think that's all you need to know for brewing a good hot yerba mate. But always keep in mind, if you want to make it a better day, don't forget to drink your yerba mate. Thank you.